Next tonight, tents on fire, reports of bottles and rocks used as missiles. That's how Leeds Festival ended on Sunday night. Tonight there are calls for security to be improved and the age limit for festival goers to be increased. Organisers say no reports were made to West Yorkshire Police regarding any serious disorder. It comes after a 16-year-old boy died when he fell ill at the festival, with police suspecting he'd taken drugs. Here's Mark Ansell. My tent was just surrounded by fires. My boyfriend actually had to stay up literally all night because it was too dangerous to go to sleep because we didn't know what would happen to us. If we both fell asleep in that tent, we could have been dragged onto a fire. We saw people jumping on tents and the security was absolutely nowhere to be seen during the whole time. The disturbing scenes at Leeds Festival on Sunday night. Tents set on fire. <laughs> Deodorant cans exploding in the flames. Festival goers and their parents really worried. Dylan's two daughters were at the festival, one of whom was hit by a bottle. Today, festival organisers responded to concerns by quoting a police statement which said there was no serious disorder. So, what does Dylan think of this? So, uh, that, they're obviously completely in denial. Absolutely in denial. It was a riot. There was dozens of fires. I, there's, there's one video of, a, of a, a guy with a hand pump trying to put the fire out and it, the tent exploded in front of him. It's been described to me as a war zone. So yeah, I'm very angry. Um, I, my daughters won't be going back to that festival again. That's as simple as that. It's just far too dangerous. This footage of the fires was filmed by Lucy's son. She's shocked by what happened. The way he described it to me, where their tent was, there were uh, fires either side, five metres either side. You know, people were throwing aerosol cans and, you know, creating more explosions, burning extra bits of stuff. So, you know, it was worrying. He, you know, saw somebody who was quite badly injured, quite a bad burn on their face, and that could easily have been one of those. Um, they managed to sort of move themselves away and ended up sleeping in some woods um, just to kind of get away from it all. The disorder broke out at the end of a festival where 16-year-old David Salino died, with police investigating whether he'd taken a particular type of ecstasy tablet. After 50 arrests over the weekend, festival goers and parents are tonight calling for change. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Leeds.